What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we jump back into the Chris Cooper career mode here in Madden 18. First things first, let's check out the standings in the NFC East. The Cowboys are 2-0, Eagles 1-1, Giants are 1-1, and the Redskins are 1-1. When it comes to carries, Zeke Elliott, he has the most. This Richard guy, he is second, and then Chris Cooper is third. Anderson, he has the most yards, and Elliott, then Bell, and then Chris Cooper with his only one touchdown. He's not going to be in the tops when it comes to touchdowns on the ground, but hey, there's still plenty of room to get better, to progress. And of course, we're in Philly. And Philly, even though on paper they got a good defensive line, it's no match for Chris Cooper. And you saw Chris Cooper freaking beast and feast on Odo Beckham's forehead. That's right, Odell's my team now. It's Chris Cooper's team. You best believe it. So third and five, they know who to go to on third down. That's Chris Cooper. He's clutch. Okay, on the ground. Through the air, he's everywhere you need him to be. Now we're gonna throw the ball to Shepard. My man Eli is looking hot. He not pause, not like that way, but he is looking like he can't find the ground. Meaning he can't throw an incompletion, if you know what I mean. Right there, beautiful run right there by Chris Cooper. Gain of about what 13, I want to say. I mean, Chris Cooper, he can do it all. He's averaging four yards at the contact, and you saw that we are trying to climb the climb the leaderboard. Why? Chris Cooper, he wants to be the all-time leading rusher, so he has to lead the league in this year his rookie year to kick off his career and a great start so anyways Eli's gonna throw the one out of the back of the end zone so he set up for a field goal third and 20 goes to Odell Beckham I'm telling you Eli throw it to the other three one or the other one three not Mr. 13 but Mr. Chris Cooper because Chris Cooper can get it done even on third and 20 right there the rookie from Ole Miss are tied and he goes down with a back injury I hope he's okay don't worry about the passing game though because he got Mr. 3-1 Mr. Chris Cooper out of the backfield running that wheel route and whenever I'm open Eli's gonna find Chris Cooper that's just what's gonna happen he's gonna find Chris Cooper Eli under pressure right here and flowers you, you saw bro you're gonna let Chris Long beast and feast on you twice back-to-back -back sacks by Chris Long and we end up giving the ball to Philly but Wentz is playing like trash so because he's playing like trash, we get the ball right back, second and one. I'm going to just do a little possession catch with my man Chris Cooper, and he's going to pick up a big first down. Eli going to find Odell Beckham, hangs on to it, sets up second and two, and then you know you're going to Chris Cooper in the clutch. We call a timeout, and we kick yet another field goal, making it 6 nothing as we jump into halftime. Now we're in the third quarter, and my man Chris Cooper continues to make plays out of the backfield, on the ground, through the air. It does not matter. Chris Cooper is here to make plays. Nothing but plays. Now he's going to do his thing in the ground game. Jumps over the man lane on the ground. Turns into a first down, second and goal. Get into the end zone. Chris Cooper. Touchdown G-Man. In Philadelphia, how you like Chris Cooper? He's a bad boy. I know y'all wish y'all would have got him, but y'all didn't. Y'all got LeGarrette Blunt. Sex for y'all. Odell Beckham made the only person on this team that can dance. Check out the moves, though, baby. That's going to do it for the third quarter of play. We went for two. Got the two-point conversion, making it a 14 Left the game. Wentz got to do something, but so far in the fourth quarter, he's doing nothing. And then once again, out of the backfield, Chris Cooper doing his thing. First and go trying to find somebody to block is Chris Cooper, but at least he makes the tackle. Eli Manning needs to hang on to that ball. I don't care who hits you, but again, Wentz in the offense is trash, so we're going to go right down the sideline with Chris Cooper after the Eagles did absolutely nothing after our turnover, and we get into the end zone. That's going to be all she wrote, y'all. All she wrote. 21-2-7. Excuse me, 20-7 because our kicker wants to miss the PAT, but it's all good in the hood, dog. So now it's time to take on Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's hot. It's hot in Tampa, but it's okay. We're going to make a man miss. We're going to cut up field, and then we get hit stick. Oh, no, Chris Cooper, you got to hang on to that ball. You want Eli to hang on to his ball. Pause. Then you better hang on to your ball. Pause. Anyways, third and six. My man, Chris Cooper, out of the backfield trying to redeem himself from that earlier fumble. He picks up a nice game, but that's going to set fourth and inches. And that Chris Cooper using his speed down the sideline, and he is gone. Touchdown, G-Man. And Chris Cooper showing why. Just why 
he should have been the number one pick in the draft. That's regardless of position. He should have been the number one pick in the draft because he's just that good. Okay, the Browns just should have got a full, I mean, a running back. He would have been better than Jim Brown. That's right, Chris Cooper, better than Jim Brown. Anyways, man, we're going to go to the right side right there. Nice gain of eight. Now we're going to go up that guy. We're going to break. Look, look, at, look, look at the fight by Chris Cooper doing his thing. First and 10 to the left side, catch a block, and then you're going to catch Chris Cooper out of bounds, but not until he picks up a first down. Third and three. Now Eli over the middle, Chris Cooper. He's going to get down. He ain't no fool, okay? He takes enough hits, running this ball up the middle. He he don't need to be taking hits over the middle while he's trying to catch the ball. Right there, beautiful pickup by Chris Cooper when it comes when it comes to the blitz pickup. But Eli Manning once again gets sacked and once again fumbles the football. But we get him back because Jameis is playing like Carson Wentz. Just trash. And we get into the end zone, making it a two-score game. You see me right there. Chris Cooper doing his thing in the end zone. Touchdown, G-Men, Eli Manning, and Chris Cooper. They're like best friends, man. It's like it's like Tony Romo and Jason Witten. You know, Steve Young and Jay Rice. You know, Joe Montana and Jay Rice. Um, um, Tom Brady and, like, everybody he throws the ball to, it seems like. Anyways, fourth and eight. They got to pump the ball. Look at the spin move by Chris Cooper. Oh, my gosh. He probably can play basketball better than LeBron James. Shoot the three better than Steph Curry, too. Because Chris Cooper can do it all. Third and ten. Dropping back is Eli going over the middle. That's going to be caught by Hill. Because, of course, the rookie from Ole Miss, our big tight end, he is out. So now we get the ball to Chris Cooper again. And Chris, 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 you're going to have to start running some people over. People are going to think you're a sucker. And then right there, first and goal. Chris Cooper gets into the end zone. Starts doing the nay-nay or the no-no. Chris Cooper, that's a no-no. Don't you ever try to do the nay-nay in the end zone again because your nay-nay is broken just like the Buccaneers defense. Anyways, man, 20-3 to is the final in this one. We outscored the Bucks and we outscored the Eagles by a combined 40 to 10. Offense is hitting on all similars. The defense is shutting these fools out. We look like a Super Bowl team, y'all. We look like a Super Bowl team. We are three and one doing our thing. Represent the NFC East. We're going to be representing the NFC in the Super Bowl. I mean, it's destiny. You see how we're balling out. And that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I'm Joe Ben T. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Until next time, Chris Cooper fans. Peace. How's out?